So in the last video, we were looking at the 16 possible functions for a binary function of two variables. Uh, these are them. This is all there is. Uh, we've already looked at the fact that we've got a zero function, a one function, an and function, and an or function. Those are the ones that we've sort of seen so far. We can start to combine some of these functions together and maybe make something a little bit more interesting. Uh, one of the things we haven't looked at at all is not, uh, because not is really a function only of one variable. But we can tack on an inversion after we apply uh, a function. So if we say over here, this one corresponds to a and b, that's one function, a and b. There is also a function like this, not a and b. Uh, what is that? That would be everywhere where there's a zero, you turn it into a one, because all that not does is it flips ones for zeros. So not a and b is actually right here. And we have a special name for that one. This one is called, uh, na this is a new function now that we've got a list for here. i call this, let me write that better, because that's not very good. That's the end of our functions. This is a new one. And we call this NAND. It's a special function which is not the AND. So if the AND of two variables is true only when they're both true, like this one here, true only when they're both true, the NAND of two variables is false only when they're both true. And it's true every other way. We'll find out later that NAND and its uh, dual NOR, um, which I'm going to start using these pluses, NOR, uh, are very, very useful uh, in binary logic. And what we find is that actually, um, as a preview, <laughs> I can tell you that if all you had in the world was a device that can do one of these things, if all you had was a million, an infinite number of gates that could do NAND, then you could build any computer. That's all you need. Or NOR, if you only had NORs, that would be all you would need. Uh, we call these universal devices, but we'll get to that later on. Anyway, where is NOR on this? This is this would be A or B not. Now A or B is true when either of them are true. It's one when either of them are one. So A or B would be zero when either of them are one. Zero when either of them are one, and it's one in the other case, so that's right here. This is nor. This is or. So or and nor are right beside each other. And 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 nand are far away from each other. We're noticing sort of a pattern here. In fact, we can draw a dividing line, and there are commonalities between the functions on this side and the functions on this side. Uh, let's do a few other functions. There's a few other common functions that we can pull out of here that we can see are useful. Uh, well, some of them we can identify already. 